Welcome to uh, General Chemistry 1 with uh, Professor John Wynn. The, for the first chapters, the um, key concepts are scientific methods, significant figures, unit conversions, uh, temperature also uh, has units, so we'll do temperature units conversion as well. Uh, and some uh, other miscellaneous topics such as uh, accuracy, precision, uh, classification of matters, and uh, physical and chemical property of uh, <clears throat> matters, okay? First of all, chemistry is uh, the study, just like other subjects, it's a study of matters. But here we focus on the uh, property of matters and changes that uh, it undergoes, okay? Scientific method, every time we do something, we need to set up a method, and um, <clears throat> especially science, we have to have a method so we can keep track of all the results, okay? And there's our five components in uh, scientific methods. The first one is making observations, whether we land the experiment or we don't, okay? If something happening, we make the observation and we record the data. And here in this step, we make the observations, we collect all the known information, uh, like I said, from planned or unplanned experiments. We can be just watching someone's doing experiments and then make the observations. <clears throat> for one single event or a few events for one experiment or a few. And then that's what provi provides us with uh, data and uh, we uh, define the problem in these steps, okay? The problem to be solved, right? <clears throat> such as uh, pollution, for example. You make the observation, the air quality is not good, cloudy, smoggy, and the problem is pollution, okay? We define the, the problem. Uh, and then how do we solve that, right? And that's uh, come the second step, which is hypothesis, where we propose a possible solution to that specific problems. And uh, the next step, then we uh, try to prove it to see our hypothesis is right. It's just as uh, pollution is uh, due to excessive uh, automobile uh, emission, for example. Okay, that's one of the hypotheses. And we try to prove it. So now if we, uh, we run the experiment and uh, collect the data and prove the hypothesis. In the case of pollution, we'll um, cut down the driving or uh, electric cars, so we cut down the emission to see to see if the uh, the problem uh, get uh, solved. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> very likely it's, it 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 solved the problem. If you cut down driving, you cut down for emissions. You uh, help to uh, improve the air quality and reduce emissions. Okay, or reduce emission and improve the health quality, uh, the air quality. Okay, now a theory is uh, is uh, a good. Uh, Conclusions, you know, summary of um, of all the uh, hypotheses that we that have been proven. <clears throat> there might be a few exceptions, okay, but the theory is good to help to predict the future uh, event. Okay, if you set up uh, a new set of experiments, you from the theory you know what the outcome is is uh, going to be. Okay, the scientific law is uh, really awesome. It's uh, based on Many, many uh, observation that's always happens. It's always true, uh, such as law of conservation of matters, okay? And, uh, and that's uh, ultimate result, okay? Ultimate conclusions of any uh, methods. <clears throat> now, the second uh, important key concept is uh, significant figures for these chapters. Uh, the um, be able to count the number of significant figures for a quantity. And um, just ask ourselves, you know, if, if a number, these are a set of rules, but we can ask ourselves if uh, is the number important uh, or needed. If it's important, then uh, that's significant, okay? <clears throat> um, and when you do calculations, uh, remember you always follow the, uh, the fewest. Um, the, if you add or subtract, you follow the number with the least decimal place, okay? That's where you cut off. If you add a number with three decimal places and a number with two decimal places, your final answer should have two decimal places. Remember the fewest. When you multiply or divide, it's different. You follow the one with the fewest significant figures. So if you multiply two 
uh, 0.5 and uh, 10.75, okay? You multiply a number with two sig fit and a number with five sig fit or seven or eight, you, you end up with, you follow the one with the fewest, which is two sig fit. Uh, for the lock, it's a little bit different, okay? And, and that's when you do the pH calculation, for example. The number of decimal places of uh, uh, Y, the answer must be equal to significant figures of the number that you take the log. Okay? All right. Now, moving on to, uh, again, sorry, this is a quick summary, so uh, we're going to go fast. Okay, the, moving on to uh, unit, uh, just uh, SI unit, which is... Uh, standard international units. Uh, these are the quantity <coughs> that we have to uh, measure and these are the st uh, standard units, okay? For example, land uh, mass, uh, a meter is the uh, standard units of uh, land, uh, mass, uh, kilogram is standard units of mass, cubic meter is the standard units of volume and one cubic meter is equal to a thousand liters and you know uh, one liter is a thousand ml or cubic centimeters also known as uh, cc uh, second is units of time and kelvin is the standard units of temperature and uh, conversions you take celsius temperatures in celsius you add 273.15 to be exact and you get the kelvin temperatures okay and um Scientific notations, when in uh, when we do unit conversion, we run into a huge number, a large number, or very small numbers, and uh, scientific notations help with that. The uh, For example, if you have a big number like this, if you want to convert to uh, scientific notation, you move the decimal place, imaginary decimal place, it's always at the end, to the left. <clears throat> if you move nine places, it's going to be 10 to the 9 power. On the other hand, if you have a small number, you move the decimal place to the right six places, and that's why it's negative. So remember, small number, negative exponent, large number, positive exponent, okay? Prefixes. The, um, every uh, exponent has a name, okay? So for example, six is minus six, 10 to the minus six is micro, 10 to minus 3 is milli, and so on and so forth. Uh, on the right side, those are the large ones. Uh, 10 to the third is kilo, mega 10 to the sixth, and so on and so forth. So how do we use that, right? Conversions. <clears throat> if you go from meter, nanometer to meter, okay, uh, nano is a lot smaller than a meter. Okay, how much smaller? The scale will tell you. Nano means 10 to minus 9. So if you go, if you want to start out with one nanometer, it's gonna be 10 to minus nine meters, small, okay? But some of us, like myself, I like to use the positive exponents. So I wanna start out with a, a big unit. Meter is way bigger than nano. So in that case, it has to be a positive exponent because you know one meter is gonna be a lot of nanometers, 10 to the nine nanometers, okay? And same idea, you can set up the positive exponent way you can set up a negative way, but positive is uh, much easier. Okay, temperature conversion, you got it here. Whenever you need uh, to convert temperature, uh, you got a formula. Um, you want to calculate Celsius, you take uh, Fahrenheit minus 32. Make sure you hit equal first before you divide it by 1.8. That's why they're in parentheses. And that's give you Celsius from Fahrenheit and then uh, from uh, Celsius to Kelvin, you add 273.15. Now, most of you already know density is mass divided by volume. Very straightforward, and we do this in Excel as well. Excel with just a few click, and then take the slash, remember, slash in Excel, slash mean divide, okay, remember that. So you, you click on the cell, and then you slash, and then click on another cell, the mass cell, and then they divide, mass over volume, sorry and that will uh, hit enter and it give you uh, the density, okay? Instead of doing individual one, you can um, go to the cell, make the plus sign, solid plus sign, and then drag them all the way down and then you get all the answers. Other topic for chapter one will be precision, accuracy, precision. Uh, the more significant figures, the more 
and or the more decimal places give you better precision. Okay, precision is good. When you have precision, mean consistency. Every time you do a measurement, it's very close together. Okay, uh, precision lead to accuracy. Okay, that means we have good skill, and good skill uh, take us to accuracy. And accuracy is the matter of how close your measurement is to the true value. Um, classification of matters, we have uh, by physical stakes, uh, like solid, liquid, gas, those are physical stakes, and chemical property versus uh, physical property. Chemical property is when we change the compound, we change uh, the composition of compounds to make new compounds. Okay, Physical uh, property uh, or change is simply just changing the physical state, going from liquid to gas, like water, you boil water, it become uh, vapor or gas, you freeze water, become ice, which is solid, okay? Uh, so that's um, physical properties. Energy gives you a quick idea of energy that uh, is a capacity to do work. If you say, I don't have energy, meaning you cannot do work because you don't have enough energy to do work. There's two different types. One is the kinetic energy, and the other one is potential energy, which is a store energy, like food, okay? Kinetic energy uh, is related to motion, like running. And then um, temperature conversion, which we did, and then uh, everything here explained right there, physical stakes and stuff. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the key concept for chapter one. Mainly, again, uh, unit conversion, significant figures, uh, a couple calculation like temperature conversion density all right so um, I thank you for watching and uh, please feel free to uh, give comments okay and then uh, look forward for the next video which is on uh, chapter 2 we'll talk about atoms molecules and ions all right thank you guys